Virgo, welcome to your general love reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Oh, come on now. We're already starting with the split. Today's tarot deck is the Game of Thrones tarot. I haven't used it in a minute, but we love it. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. For Virgo, what's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Take what resonates, so it does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. And reverse energies as it applies, like always. Yes, I put in the title slides, but it helps to verbalize on occasion, given that some people just don't like to read. What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What's going on, please? What's going on? Mm, some of y'all thinking about mm, a new intense direction and a ten of pentacles. Hell yeah. Mm hmm. Go, Virgo. Ace of Cups. Ooh, some of y'all looking at new. Oh, yes. Ace of Cups, a new pathway, a new way of life, a new intensity, a new passion, a new way to get that money. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, other stuff. <laughs> Show me that uh, shared recent past. Recent past. How recent that is. That's up to you. Show me that shared recent past, please. If there is one. Page of Spears. I cannot remember. Somebody kicked it off in this exact same position. I don't remember. Page of Wands. Some communication. Possibly some curiosity. Nothing too crazy. Some of y'all busy being the emperor right now. Mm -hmm. Card of Aries. You might have some Aries in your chart. Or you might be dealing with an Aries. But uh, some of y'all got a lot going on. But that's not keeping us from being curious. Nor should it. Current. Current shared. Current shared. Current shared, please. Current shared, please, for Virgo. Current shared, if there isn't. Hanged man, timeout. Perspective. Okay, so. There might be some communication, low-level curiosity, however. We are separated from our person of interest, or it could literally be a Pisces, and that's just confirmation. Sometimes you get a chance to meet, sometimes you don't. Whoever your significant person is. Show me um, Virgo's independent energy, please. Show me Vir Okay. Look at you. Aren't we using our intuition? Good for you, honey. Mmm. Yes. We are using our intuition as best we can. Okay. Trying to feel our way around the situation. Hoping things will change. Mmm. Further the better. Improvement. Possibly. Yeah. Oh, somebody thinking about making change, too. Actively, not passively. Good for you. Show me the person surrounding Virgo, please. Show me the person surrounding Virgo. Is there a person? Show me that energy, please. Surrounding, okay. Yeah, and they fierce the tail. Ace of Wands, as we saw in the split earlier. Uh, this person does represent a new passion or pathway in life, the light. Okay, a new way to forge ahead. You're looking at it too. Intuitively, you're looking at it and you understand it for what it is. Uh, wow, that's quite intense. But the hanged man here. The, and that's shared current. The both of you are in timeout, respective timeout. You cannot connect with each other, or perhaps one of you is more aware than the other of the other person. I don't know. It's timeout. How do I handle this situation? Ace of Wands. They're kind of inter intense, or you understand their energy to be intense, kind of immediate, lives in the moment. Okay. They are very passionate. Uh, they don't really tend to do well with excuses. They tend to get things done. Their energy is much more upfront and immediate and kind of just like in your face as the Ace of Wands typically is. You are looking at it, you are fully aware of this as the High Priestess, but you're also trying to understand intuitively what to do with it. <laughs> it's like, we're always like, yeah, I'm, I, I, they got my attention, but I don't know if they're my speed, right? Something like that. Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please. Show me the future, please, for Virgo. What's going on? Somebody, you will be connecting, so it looks like the Three of Cups, boom. Okay. Mmm. That's interesting. What's in front of that Three of Cups? What's in front of that Three of Cups, please? If you're new to my channel, welcome. I prefer when they fully flip out or hit the table. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, practically speaking. You actually might literally be meeting for drinks in somebody's home because Queen of Pentacles all about that home energy. Okay. This is my home. This is my house. Okay, come drink with me. Have a, have a drink with me. Okay, so some of you might literally, that could be a literal translation for some of you. You'll be having drinks in either your home, because that is technically your card, or somebody else's home. I don't know, but it's looking much more um, a homebody to me. Practically speaking, we're meeting somebody socially, but it could be an... Correct, this is ace. We're sharing cups with somebody. What's in front of that queen of coins, please? What's in front of that queen of coins? What's in front of that Queen of Coins? But uh, practically, let's take it off the home kind of consideration. Practically speaking, we understand we're going to meet somebody. And it's going to come from a grounded place. We're looking forward to it. Um, somebody want to show off their money. That's for some of you, not all of you. Oh, look. Oh, let me pay. Okay, something like let me pay. Oh, it could be that simple. It doesn't have to be all that. 
show me, um, it, it, does somebody want to dress nice? We want to dress nice? Somebody's going to wear blue. I believe they're going to wear blue. I'm not sure. Somebody's going to wear blue. What's in front of the queen of coins, please? Two of coins. We feel in the back of our mind that we owe this person with that two of pentacles. And Lannister always pays his debts, yeah? So, the two of coin. We feel like we owe this person. That's kind of what's in the back of our mind. Do you feel like you owe this person a drink? Something like that. It's a balancing thing. I'm not convinced of that, Virgo. I'm not convinced of that. I'm not convinced that it's just that I owe them. No. <laughs> really? No. This is more than I owe them. <laughs> okay. No. We, this is more than I owe. Advice, please? Advice. 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 How would you advise Virgo? But it's in the back of your mind, too. And I know for a fact you, you, you don't like hanging out in that kind of debt field. You don't care for it, I know. Eight of Wands, your advice is to communicate and or take action. Make it happen. Plan it. Talk. Open up. Right now the communication is not great or it's just you two are in separate corners. Right now, doing your own thing. Who knows? But your advice is to communicate your actions in intense. Wand is fire. Fire lives in the here and now. So it's not just communication. It's also action. So verbalize your communications and or action. Make it happen. Make a plan. Right? Okay, overall please for Virgo. What's the overall please for, oh, 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 death. Let me know if you're dealing with Scorpio, King of Spears. Oh my, we got Scorps and Leo. Oh, your overall, eh? Don't show your passion. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Virgo? It means a lot to you. Whatever this is, it means something to you. And you're trying to act like it ain't. Oh, I owe him. Oh, I owe him. But why are you looking forward to it then? Looking forward to it so much. If it's just, I own. It's my turn. It's my turn. Oh, it's my turn to pay for the drinks. Ah! It's my turn to pay for the drinks. That's why we gotta kill that passion, honey. Death is over there on that King of Wands. That's why we gotta kill our best, most formal sense of awesome passion. Why we gotta kill it. Why we gotta kill it. Yeah, I'm poking you. Yeah, I'm poking you. I'm poking you. <laughs> oh, I owe them a drink. I owe so-and-so a drink. It's my turn. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Gotta act like we ain't got no passion. I, I don't feel anything for this situation at all. I'm just balancing up. I, I, I pay my debts. What's going on, please? Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please, for the best possible clarification for Virgo. How to make it happen, though? That's the big question I'm seeing on the split. Mm -hmm. Preferences. What are the preferences? What are the preferences? What are the preferences? Why am I hearing preferences? Well, that's part of the communication thing, especially if you two aren't talking right now. What's going on, please? Preferences, 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 preferences. Show me the page of... Uh... Oh, my. Pressure, pressure, page of wands. Show me the page of wands. Somebody, we feel pressure, we feel pressure. Why do you feel pressure, honey? Show me that page of wands, please. Show me, okay. We're gonna meet this person, <laughs> or we want to meet this person, and we're going to conceal our pleasures. We would like to meet this person. Energetically speaking, we would like to meet this person. Uh, person, but we're also denying our pleasures simultaneously. Okay, so we have the chariot. There's the emotional um, movement. Seven of Wands, blockage of pleasure, though. So yeah, I'm happy to meet you. I'm more than happy to meet you. But I'm not getting anything out of this, so whatever. Doesn't doesn't mean anything, right? So this is technically the shared recent past. Uh, we have a low level exchange of communication. Um, we were excited to meet this person, but oh, I didn't. What? I don't get any pleasure out of that. I don't enjoy meeting that. In fact, it's a pain in the ass. Right? Show me the hanged man, please. Show me the hanged man, please. Show me the hanged man, please. Show me the hanged man. Nine of swords. Very stressed out, the both of you. Um, there you are underlying that point. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Two kings looking at each other. Both very strong-willed energies then. Oh, of course you are. 
Okay, but the anxiety. Why? Why anxious? Why the hanged man? Four cups. We're not happy. We're not happy. We're not happy with the output. We're not happy with the in expression. We're not happy with the back and forth. We're not happy with it. We overthink our thoughts. Uh, we tell ourselves, you know, this doesn't mean anything, but then we're also very unhappy with the erratic communication. Um, and my thoughts. What's wrong with your thoughts? What's wrong with the thoughts? What's wrong with your thoughts? What's wrong with the thoughts? Why am I getting that? What's wrong with your thoughts, honey? What's wrong with your thoughts? You're unhappy with the thoughts, uh, specifically how much sometimes you overthink this. Why are you so... What, what's with the thoughts? What's with the thoughts? What's wrong with the thoughts? King of Pentacles. It's so hard. Why is it so hard for you? I see you're trying to be the King of Pentacles here, honey. And it's technically the both of you. Um, share, so you're both trying to understand perspective, and there's sometimes where your thoughts just provoke you about this person's energy negatively. And you try not to let it get to you with that Four of Cups. Emotional detachment, low-level emotionality. I'm trying not to put too much of my thought into the emotionality. I'm trying to remove myself from this situation and this person and how they make me feel. You know, um, how they make me react. Uh, and then also we don't care for it. I mean, the hanged man is here. Honestly, it just it stresses us out when we do communicate with this person. We try to remain emotionally detached from it, and I think that just increases the anxiety, right? Because that means neither one of you is saying what it is that you want to say, and yet you have such a strong idea of who you are. So I, honey, I, I the separation between you two causes you anxiety. You don't like the expression and or the output options with that four cups. Um, but there's also this thing about I don't know how to make it better. I don't know how to increase it. And, you know, honey, if you already have a history back here of meeting this person and insisting that you don't get any pleasure from it, your communication is going to reflect very similarly to the actions that you're experiencing. I mean, that just kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So if you're meeting somebody that gives you pleasure and you act like it don't, you can expect the exact same from your communication. So how we set ourselves up for action in the, in the here and now and in the real world isn't going to be much different than our communication, okay? So I'm seeing a Virgo and your person, whoever it is you are tied to, you experience anxiety and you wish you were able to say more or something more freely that you didn't get so caught up in your head about what it is that you're thinking and the communication is probably not so great especially if we have the hanged man we are definitely overthinking our thoughts and what our feelings are the both of you so again you're reflecting your thoughts and your communication like you would in your actions it's not too dissimilar to be honest okay so Practically speaking, you've tried to address your thoughts over and over again with that King of Pentacles energy. It's like, I know who I am and I know what I'm about, so why am I having such a hard time expressing myself or understanding my thoughts when it comes to this person? So, that would make sense then that you're trying to go into the High Priestess, your intuition, in order to understand what the hell the situation is. Okay? Alright, I can tell you right now, we have a precedent here. Okay? Uh, I, I like meeting with this person physically in the real world, but I, I act like I don't. So that would make sense then that it jumps over into everything else. All right. Um, the energy that you put out is what you get back. So if it's going to be uptight and withholding, your communication and thought pattern is going to follow that. FYI. The High Priestess, please show me your current independent individual energy. You know? The High Priestess, trying to use your intuition about this person specifically, are they a Two of Cups? Are they a Soul Bond? What are my feelings for this person exactly? You're trying to fill your way around these cups. What the hell is this? Is this a Soul Bond connection? It is. If it's a Soul Bond connection, if it's love, what is this? Is this the... What is that? Good God. Why does that song come to my mind all the time? Is this the... White, is that, it's White Snake. I know. I know. I'm lame. Dude, I know I'm lame. I'm so cheesy. <sighs> You are manifesting. You may not have full confidence in it with that Seven of Swords energy, but you are manifesting it. You are manifesting them specifically. You would like to understand your feelings better for this person. Okay? So I'm trying... I'm seeing a Virgo who's trying to lose the rigidity of their thinking pattern, which kind of dictated their emotional pattern with this person. And then you are trying to manifest their energy better so you can understand it better from an intuitive place and I agree with you if this isn't working try something else and so you are um, and your energy value went up markedly I might point out so yes it's 
Judgment. There you go. Make that active decision. That's great. Make that active decision. Okay. Um, yeah, correct. Use your best judgment. Use your intuition. Manifest them. You may not fully understand what it is that you're doing, especially if you're not used to using your intuition, but at least you're trying something different. In other words, you're trying to break out of whatever this pattern is that feels good, but also has all this difficulty, roadblocks and speed bumps and all this other shit built into it, right? It's like, why can't I just be myself? Okay, there you go. Excellent. Ask yourself that. Yeah, why can't you be yourself? And you want to know more about the emotionality of this person. What does it mean to you? Is the connection legit? What's going on? Show me this Ace of Swords, please, as the other... Ooh. Ace of Wand, excuse me. I say that because it's a spirit, even though it's the Ace of Wand. So, the person that is surrounding you, they are very big on kind of mastering their own destiny, that kind of thing. Um, they're big on making judgment calls, i.e. decisions. They live by the light of their own particular pathway, Ace of Wands, and it's quite strong. Um, you know this about them. This is a very specific interpretation of their personality type. They don't really dig the idea of divine timing. Um, then that's because they live in the here and now. Okay, this is my light as I understand it, and I pursue it accordingly. Um, so, and also, let's see, who do we have here? We got Scorps, we got Cancer, we got Taurus, and High Priestess, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We got Scorps twice. Okay, so, let, well, you know what, let's switch it up. Show me what I need to see, please, what's going on. Show me the best possible clarification. For Virgo. What does it mean to you? Do Can I manifest them? Can I manifest them correctly? Do I even know how? What the fuck am I doing? Well, good for you, honey. Good for you. I'm glad you're trying something new. You understand back here that this isn't working. It's not working. Okay? And I agree with you. You should be able... You are, you're doing everything you can under your mode, right? As King of Pentacles, you're doing the best you can to do with this energy as the King... But it's not working for you. So good for you. You changed it. You changed it. Good. Good for you. You're using your intuition more to try to understand this situation. Um, I don't know. When you two get together, it's it feels good, but then it's withholding. Sometimes, another one of you feels like you can be yourself, and that sucks, man. That sucks. Nobody wants to feel like that. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Let's do one more. It does look like we are meeting, socially speaking. In either somebody's comfort zone with that Queen of Coin energy, I know this place, um, I know what to expect from it, or it could literally be meeting for drinks at somebody's home. And it's under this guise of, I owe them. Specifically, I heard it's my turn to pay. Show me that Three of Cups, please. Show me that Three of Cups. Why are we fighting? Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Oh, what, what are we competing for? What is this? Competing for what? Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we got some fierce energy, honey. Queen of Wands and the Two of Cups. Oh my. This person really knows what they want, don't they? They're a bit of a fighter, too. Their energy is fierce, honey. It's fierce. I can see why you're looking at it. I can. I do. I can see why you're, they're looking at it. And yeah, it is a Two of Cups situation. They are representing both fire as well as water. It's a powerful combination, honey. But why is the Five of Wands here? Are they cautious with you? They're cautious with you. Why are they cautious with you? They're looking at you, too. They're looking at you. They're looking at you, that Page of Swords energy. Knight of Pentacles. And then you, Queen of Pentacles. That's fascinating. Are they taking a minute to warm up to you? That's interesting. That's very interesting. They are conflicted. They want to see you. But they're doing it slowly. I don't know why. Did you two have a falling out? Do they not know what you want? They don't know what you want. They don't know what you want. They have a very strong energy imprint. They have a very strong energy imprint in that they know exactly what they want. They don't know what you want, though. Expect some resistance. It's 
not meant to be mean or combative. It's not. They just don't know what you want. They themselves very much know what they want. They have water energy and fire energy directed at you, but they don't know what you want. They're literally looking at you, wondering, what does Virgo want? Um, expect some resistance. Their energy is slowly going back towards you, slowly. Um, so if you two have this habit of um, it's nice to see you and then it doesn't go anywhere after that, then that would explain the caution that they're exuding and why they are specifically saying, I don't know what Virgo wants. Um, because that's already been established, hasn't it? Mm. That would explain why you see them as having such a strong-willed personality, because they do know what they want. You are trying, though, Virgo, honey. You are trying, to your credit. You're trying to shake things up and to understand things better. <sighs> Whatever compromise you tried to work with this person in the past, it did not work. The compromising energy between you two was not balanced. It would not work. Okay. Somebody was happy with kind of remaining detached but visible. I don't know how else to put that. They remained detached but visible and they were kind of happy with that. But it still caused hurt. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please. That's you. Now here twice. So they see you, but they also don't know what you want. They're slowly coming back around to you. Yeah, they, they do. They love you. They're into you but they don't know what you want. That's the thing, and they very much know what they want. Six of Pentacles, reverse energies as it applies, but your energy is on the receiving end of that confusion. So the Six of Pentacles, we are undecided about balancing up. See, that's exactly what this person's talking about. They don't know what you want. I know you want to balance up. Six of Pentacles, keep it practical, keep it fair, I owe this person. But the thing is, is that you've already done that, Virgo, so you have to trust that this has not worked for you in the past. It's not going to work for you in the future. You know that. You're using your intuition to manifest something stronger with this person. You doubt it, but you can keep doing it, at least to trying something different. So if you fall back into this pattern of, we're just going to catch up, question mark, it's not going to work. It's not going to, you already know this. You already know this. Now, I agree, you should be able to be yourself when you're with this person. And you should be. So just express what it is that you feel. If you enjoy hanging out with this person, say it. If you get pleasure from their company, say it. If you have more thoughts or feelings tied or associated to this person, express them. Because if it's just like to hang out and that that's enough for me, it's not going to work because they've already said quite clearly, Virgo, why do you want to see me? You don't know what you want or you don't, something like that. They very much do. They're into you. But what they're not into is... Virgo not knowing what they want. It is what it is, honey. I am, you know, all, everybody gets one of those readings where I'm like, hey man, this is what's up. This one's for you. This was what's up. This is who I'm talking to. So if it's not your story, don't accept it. No reason to get offended for something that's not yours. But if it is yours, please know they need something from you that indicates what Virgo wants. And it needs to be more than just balancing up because I owe them, quote unquote. Honey, if that were true, this wouldn't be here. Two of Pentacles. Show me the Two of Pentacles here. I can see. Okay, see? There's your real energy right there. I found you. This is your real energy. The Knight of Wands. You act like you're confused. Whether you're just balancing up or you owe this person, quote unquote. It's more than that, and you know it. Knight of Wands. This is why you actually want to see this person. It's not a crime to have passion, honey. This is what this person wants to see from you. Some sort of declaration of your energy. What do you want, Virgo? What do you want from me? I don't want to keep seeing you just for it to go wah wah or fizzle out or fall flat. You know, it's yeah, there you go. They want to see more of your commanding ass energy. There it is again, King of Pentacles. Now here twice. You've shown Queen of Pentacles twice and King of Pentacles twice. They want to see more of your dominant energy. What does Virgo want? I'll tell you what Virgo wants. I've seen it. They need to see it from you too. Okay, because this, this, this thing isn't working. 
It's not working. Yeah, they're into you. Yeah, they're strong-willed. They're determined. But that also means by design, they know what they want. They want to see you have direction too. They want to see you make it declarative with your energy as well. Okay. Does this person look, does this King of Pentacles look confused to you? I don't think he does. No. He looks very commanding here. Okay. Your energy is the Knight of Wands. I know exactly what you want with this person. But if you're going to be like, oh, it's so good to see you, question mark? We're just friends, question mark? They're not going to be receptive. You're setting yourself up for the same pattern that you opened up with. Okay, your action and or advice. Eight of Wands, communicate. Communicate, take action. Communicate, take action. Show me this Eight of Wands, please. Move it forward. Six of Swords, develop a plan. Move it forward. Move it forward with the King of Cups. Uh, more of that Scorpio energy. Who else? Who else? Who else? We've got Cancer, Pisces, Water in general. We got some Leo here. We got some Taurus here. Yes. Okay. Your overall default, okay, is to kill this sense of passion, specifically your strong will, independent independent your sense of freedom your independence your inability to act on your own your own sense of freedom free will manifest destiny all that who the king of wands is is your inclination is to kill it and that's hence what all this is about you know again you're setting yourself up for failure when you act like you don't have passion determination or that you get to choose for yourself when you act like you don't have a choice you get nothing mm -hmm. excuse me i apologize for that um somebody trying to hit me up right now I'm working and they know that <laughs> um, you know it's I mean don't set yourself up for failure if you truly enjoy this person's company and you get something out of it then say so because their energy already says I know what I want I know what I'm doing and I need to see the same from you Virgo otherwise we're not going to continue to see each other something like that okay um, so please you know don't set yourself up for failure. If it's enough for you to get by on very little, please keep in mind it's not the same for them. Not at all. Nowhere near the same. Okay. Um, your reasons are your own. Put in the comments as you see fit. Virgo, I hope this helped you. <sighs> Otherwise, honey, this could be a really hot date. Like I'm saying, this could be like a really hot date. But we got to get out of this, this mentality of, oh, I'm just checking in on you. What's up? How's it going? Virgo, you know exactly what's up. Okay. All right. Virgo, take care. Be well.